if you've come so far. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Prue and welcome to Three Looks, One Palette with the Kush Queen Palette. So this is from Peachy Queen Blogs. They are, I guess, an indie brand. They've come out with palettes such as the Clueless and just recently the Pumpkin Spice. This one was just before the Pumpkin Spice. I bought it solely because I saw it on Makeup Struggles Instagram stories and I fell in love with the colour patterns. And on their website they also sold uh, swatch stickers and I was like, oh, I kind of want to try them. So yeah, I bought it. I, it ended up costing me $60 Australian. The swatch stickers didn't come with the palette. I've emailed them. I've still not heard back. But I have now used this palette a fair bit and I do really enjoy it. The mirror is really decent. They're probably a bit dirty. I think, is that me? Yeah. It's a decent mirror. Better than some. Not as good as some. It's in the med in the medium. It is weed themed and I believe all of the names in the palette are based on weed themes. Though I am not up to date on all of that. So I, I don't know. Really for me the only one I recognise is like Pineapple Express from the movie. And yeah I mean like I'm like the other ones I'm like oh, I guess like lemon kush that's something I don't know what it is weed's not really my scene but I did really love the color scheme so my favorite shades in this palette so far have been all of the shimmers sure I think I have swatched it so I think all right so I'm just realizing I should probably insert some swatches so I like have no idea how anyone does this so nothing on my arm and we've got purple haze, indigo, lemon kush, skywalker, damn, white rhino, which could, I'm pretty sure, I think is my favourite shade. Wowie wowie, blueberry, and pineapple express. The screen is also lovely. Northern Lights. It swatches terribly though. Let's just build that at once. This is Baba Kush, which is a beautiful shade. And OG Kush. And leading last but not least is Agent Orange. So here we have the swatches. So, so far my favourite shades would be this Purple Haze, White Rhino, Skywalker, Northern Lights, that green. And yeah, Bub Bubble Kush is cool, but it, it's like it's not exactly what I want. But it, it's, it's pretty nice. But now that I own all these eyeshadows, I've never hit pan. Nor have I think nor do I think I've ever made a dent. <laughs> so I don't really care about weights, but I'm just interested to compare. If they are shades that you really like, definitely worth checking out. I am curious about the pumpkin spice palette. It does look quite nice, but at the moment I'm going on a bit of like an indie tribe thing binge. So I'm curious to see how the Feral Cosmetics palette looks in reviews. I want to watch some of them so let me know if you've seen any out yet or like who's going to watch for that one because I do feel like the color schemes are slightly similar and I'm curious about menagerie cosmetics but I also think coming into the Christmas season we're going to see a lot more releases than I'm going to want so I'm trying to hold back anyway thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your time let me know what you think let me know what your favorite look was let me know what palette you want me to see play with next. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to look one with the Kush palette. I have already done one look. So I'll see. But hopefully this will be look one of three. So I'll just quickly go through what's on my face because I forget. And it's the Lancome Tiny Tiny Doll shade 001. Butter bronzer. 
hourglass setting powder under the eyes i just put all three colors on today for kicks shits and giggles foolish from colourpop on the lips a smashbox primerizer and benefit pore professional on my face so leading in i'm going to continue just because i'm curious and i feel like i'm one for one with these guys now so the smudge proof proof eyeshadow base and two face shadow insurance two face shadow insurance oh i hate it when i do that and nas I wonder how it goes with the brush, to be honest. Great, those two. Alright. And now, let's get into it. Going in with this one. What is it? It's called Baba Kush. Might as well bring you in, eh? that old is out of focus cool that looks nice let's see if this eye stays in focus oh I'm pink 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 I do wish it was more vibrant I mean, that's, that's pretty pink, really. I can't complain. Alright, going with a smaller one. So I'm going to use blueberry. Alright, that's, that's not blending very well at all, that brush. Now I don't want it to go too far into the pink, I just wanted to deepen up the crease a little. And on this side. Oh wow, and that has just blended like a dream. But we did have some fallout, and I've got some fallout on my old palette. So I'm going to go in with some pink, and I just want to make sure this is, you know, that the purple is not the main star. Alright, well I guess I'm going to have purple under my eye. It seems to make sense now, doesn't it? Alright, and then I was going to go, I think I'm going to do purple haze on my eyes. And I just feel like I'm going to try out the brush business. Because I know in reviews people are meant to be like, this is how I apply to a brush. This is how it applies when I wet the brush. This is how it applies when this happens. I don't really get it. I'm like, I feel like most normal people apply stuff with their fingers. Because it's like a million times quicker. Excellent. And then I'm going to go in with Wowie Wowie. There. Maui, Maui. For that inner corner highlight.
And then I just feel, I feel like it needs a little bit of pink down below. I can't be bothered arguing with it. Alright, so I might as well. I think I will just do through and swatch the colours that I have applied to my eye. We got purple haze. Barma Kush. Blueberry. So these are all the colors that I've used in this look that I've just created and this is Wowie Wowie, Blueberry, Bubba Kush and Purple Haze. Alright then let's just go in with mascara. I'm just going to go back to the Old Faithful which is my NARS Climax. Oh, I like always forget one step. Line on. Done fucked up this one. Yeah, you know sometimes you're like, I feel like I've just fucked this up more if I go in. This is how I feel. Yeah, no. I'm calling outs on that one. Alright, so the NARS Climax Mascara. Alright, so let's bring you in. Is this one with a bit of fallout? Yeah, it's got a little bit of fallout, but I'm feeling. I think I. I'll be back with a wear test in a bit. I just need to dropping my car off to be serviced today. Much excitement in my life. I'll see you soon. <sighs> hello, hello. Today has been a big day. So I've had this makeup on since about 10 a.m. It's 5.20 p.m. So can you do the mess? Five, six, seven, seven, seven hours. But I have been walking out in the sun and my eyes got sweaty. And then I had a little afternoon cry. So these primers have been tested. Let's bring you in. So this is the, oh, this is the Too Faced side. Ooh. Should I show you why I said that? Can you see all of that loss? Look at that. That's the NARS slide. Too Faced has just caned it. Anyway, so this is my eye look. So that transfer for me is completely normal. and just seems to happen. There's a little bit of loss from the lid. See this line here? Uh, but it is much more wearable. And then you come over here. It's like the exact same. And you just see, it's like stuck in the crease. It's just gross. All the mascara. Well, I mean, the Nars Climax, I just, it lasts beautifully. So, this is the end of look number one. Hello, hello. So, welcome back. And we're on to look number two. So, I've sort of redone my face a little bit from the previous look, but we're actually... We're on the same day. I've just checked in from where you are. I've cleaned my eyes off and I've done it. So I topped up my bronzer. I put on some NARS concealer around my eyes. I've got a Colourpop blush on. 
topped up my Fenty highlight. And lips have changed. They're like one of the new MAC powder lights. But I've had that on since like midday now. And I've primed up with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Just felt like a bit of a change. And I think I'm just going to do like a real... I really want to use Skywalker, which is this colour here. I haven't fully decided, but I think I'm going to put the yellow shade all down again. Which is what I did in my green eye look that is already up. So this is Lemon Kush. I'm going to bring you in here, lovelies. So this shadow could definitely be more pigmented for me. So this is shade 60 from Inglot, which is a shimmer yellow. But this blends really nicely. And this is Lemon Kush. Which you gotta say, it swatches nicely, but you can, yeah, it, it swatches how it looks. I think I just prefer a more pigmented yellow in my life. But there's nothing wrong with the current yellow. So this is Agent, Agent Orange. And this is, this is a nice orange. It's nice and soft, just like that yellow, and they're blending together beautifully. I'm kind of really impressed with the quality here. If you haven't guessed yet. So, let's go in and I'm just going to put... Should I try like a Halo bullshit? No, let's just put Skywalker on and see what happens. That's okay, but it could be better. Well, spritz the spritz. Yeah, as a shadow, this just works better swiped on and not dab dabbed. I just want to say, like, a subtle orange. I think I'm down with this. I'm cool with it. And then I'm just going to put the blueberry shade under my eye. And I feel like I'm going to do Pineapple Express for my inner corner highlight. what my final looks gonna be anyway let's watch the colors I've used lemon kush blueberry this one is a bit dusty as you can see agent orange doesn't that swatch beautifully and ooh, skywalker so thanks for watching howdy and welcome to the final look with the Kush Queen palette from my three palettes one look I'm hoping it's gonna be different enough but quickly I'll just run through what's on my face so I don't forget Smashbooks primerizer benefit Pore professional Lancome Tainted Doll 023 Fenty Amber Fenty Linen, chin around the nose, 
MAC Studio Concealer Under the Eyes NC20, setted with Hourglass Veil Primer. Use my new little thingy. And this is, so I've got the Extra Dimension Blush and the highlighter on. And Benefit, precisely, for the brows. Covered my face with the shades in this palette. And then I've already primed my eyes with the paint pot. Just because this video is going to be bloody long. Oh, lips. I've got my Old Faithful Night Moth. Uh, it's just like a gentle contour. And one of the new MAC lips on. And this is a little tamed in the Powder Kiss range. I really like this colour. I'm into it. So let's get into with today's eye look. So I've sort of been having a look and I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure this is going to be different enough, but we are going to focus on the blue. So that blue here is Skywalker. Then I've got Northern Lights and Blueberry. So what will make this look really different is if I utilize another palette. It's going to make the biggest difference. So, do I want to go on with the deep blue? And then all I need is a light blue and just do a blue smoky eye. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to pull into good old faithful pastel goth. So I think, from what I've seen, the Strobe Cosmetics palette with, what is it, Creepy Cute. That has the shades that are the most similar to sort of this one. I'm actually going to go in and I haven't used Skull. This is the white from this shade. I'm sorry, I'm just assuming you know that the Pastel Goth is well long gone. From the makeup world. I just happened to have bought it. I didn't realise how amazing it was. And I just want like a white. Just We're just going to try and like really bring this out today. So using the same brush I seem to, I like this one. I'm gonna just put this blue in my crease. Sorry, that is my cat. She gets very excited. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, Marceline, what are you doing? Too cute. Ah, sorry. Love my cat. <clears throat> Alright, so we just got that blue, and that's, I just like that one. It's like a really nice, like baby blue. Is that the best way to show it? I think so. And then we need blueberry. So I really do like that blueberry shade just to deepen up things. You can see I've pretty much got rid of the blue now. What did I do up here? patchy today. Alright, so I'm going to pull in the pastel goth just to fix the shade up. It is not wanting to blend, really. 
damn, I forgot how big my dental pillow is. But I think I sort of, well, it's covered up the mistakes of that one. So we're just going to do it over here too. Why do I always go big on one eye and then not both? I just like, I'm happier in my life going smaller. See, like, oh, this is almost drag queen over here. So going back to blueberry. Because we do want this palette to sort of be the star of the show at least. Right, and then uh, let's cut the crease today. I'm going to use like an old sample I have from a Lancome concealer, I think. Last attempt. I'm actually going to throw this out because it is nearly dead. Alright, going to change up the plan. Still a little bit of blue, but that's going to be an out of corner moment. See? Whoa. And then I'm going to go in with, let's just do Pineapple Express. Go in there. I can just, I can feel the fallout going on my face. And then I'm just going to tap it. Because I just want it to sort of meld in. See like a little melding moment. And then I'm just going to go in and put something on the inner corner. Should I do white rhino? Or should I bring the blue in? I'm going to use Skywalker. I just love this shade. creative and shit and then maui wowie that just is like that perfect in the middle like just right on that just around the little cusp cool all right and then shade of brush let's grab blueberry just really lightly damn i tried to be light man Yeah, 
feel like I need some just a little bit of lemon kush, the yellow shade. Cool. All right, I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush, a real giant ass one. And I'm just going to try and just clean this up a bit, the top. that fallout I'm, the only way to fix that is going to be concealer oh, I just don't really like um I feel like the Skywalker has to come out further just to fix in you can sort of see how shit oh actually that's perfect that looks good but it looks a bit funny on camera I feel like we just need a little bit of Skywalk. There, and that's just gotten rid of that harsh edge. Yes, that's what I wanted. Alright, and then I've also picked up the NYX Vivid Lights. This is the yellow shade. So I thought, bugger it. Yellow goes well with blue. We've already put it on there, but let's uh, see how I go. So I'm gonna get my nice little precise mirror out with you, Fenty. <gasps> you missed it all, but I did like a semi little wing. Tiny little paper wing. Hells yeah! Alright, I'm not gonna fuck with that anymore. They're uneven, but like, dude, it's magic. Oh, and look, I've also gone into labeling all my makeup. Zoom on it. The final look. Oh, mascara. Fuck, I always forget something. Let's do Bad Girl Bang today. Here's the final look. Sorry, I always forget to do those stupid eyelid shots because I just, ugh, it's just a look with me. Howdy ho, just checking in. I'll put down how long it's been. I just put the Nimitang, Nimitang, MAC lipstick on my lips just because they were looking a bit shit. So, coming into the paint pot. Let's see how we went. And I actually think this potentially has had my best wear yet. Yeah, no skipping. Like a little bit of crease lossage, but nothing, nothing terrible. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty decent. I feel like I should. another little practice. I'm going to use the red one from the Vivid Lights. That's not too bad I reckon. I'm pretty happy with that. This concludes my three looks, one palette and I guess I should top it off. Do I have time? Yes, I do. For a quick review. So, Blueberry is a good shade. It's got quite a fair bit of fallout, but I have utilized it a lot to deepen up the crease. And it, it's, it's decent. Northern Lights is probably one of my favorites, and it's a really bright green. I did an all green look with this palette in my first impressions look with this one. Northern Lights and... Skywalker. Northern Lights you can see 
is a nice green and I, it really is quite a bit true to the pen but it, it evens out and it's really nice when it comes to blueberry swatches beautifully it it's just it's a little bit temperamental but it, it's not a bad shade I've so the orange is quite a nice vibrant shade and this is a very nice orange and I think I've used one better the pink is just as I said not as vibrant as I sort of expected the yellow is decent not as vibrant as I expected but it blends out nicely and it, it it's a nice complement to the thing the shimmers to me are where this palette really shines and I definitely will probably reach into it more I kind of partially got it like as a gimmick thing so it's pretty funny but I have enjoyed using it it is cruelty free it's not listed as vegan and I believe that's the Peter cruelty free symbol I don't know where it was made and it is from the well it was shipped from the US ultimately if you really like this color, color scheme it's potentially worth picking up it does work out to be $47 Australian I'm trying to think and that is about the same price oh that's so the Huda Beauty like electric obsessions they run for $48 Australian I do have the other ones but this is just the colorful one that I like the most this is probably the closest you could probably get actually now that I look at it in Australia with ease but to be honest so far it really has stock anyway but this one if you're worried about how much is in the pans so this one has 10 grams the net weight is 10 grams and this one's net weight is 43 grams so you're definitely getting a lot more product Bring it up the Juvia's Place Magic Mini has 24 grams total weight for all of these lovely shades which and so just about half of what's in here I mean so it's pretty decent but realistically I've never ever in my life hit pan or come near pan or when I only owned one eyeshadow palette I have I have hit pan Thank you.